Hi guys, good morning. I know I look a little crazy, but I just got back from Maui last night. The flight was a little delayed and it was already like super late because the time's going forward. I ended up missing the Halloween party last night, which I kind of bummed about because I literally bought all my costumes for that. Honestly, I think like in retrospect, it doesn't even matter because two or three of the costumes didn't even come in. The only one that was complete was the leopard. I'm making a matcha right now. I have not had a matcha in like literally almost a week, which is actually crazy to me. I think I'm going to do like three grams. It was kind of hard to find good matcha in Hawaii, but there's a place in Wai Wailea, I think that's what it's called, and they had Maui's matcha. The matcha there wasn't horrible, I just feel like the girl put too much milk in it, and I feel like it didn't need that much milk, so it kind of tasted like more milky than like matcha. This is an unexplainable feeling. So good. I don't want to be that person to be like, oh, can you only use like 140 grams of milk? what the hell like whatever i don't remember like how much it came out to i did ask for oat milk i don't think it was like that much different like maybe eight dollars or something like that i know that honolulu coffee actually is like a little pricey for coffee it's like twelve dollars for a cup of coffee and like a latte and i would never pay that much for like a latte before but maybe it's just because it's like a chain i guess or like one of the more expensive chains it's just, like sugar-free vanilla syrup and oat milk but I'm not gonna lie, like the coffee was so good and it was, I'm pretty sure they used like the Kona coffee like 100% and that's probably why it was like a little pricier but regardless, like that coffee was really good I don't know, I'm kind of like regretting not going to Legree this morning but I just like wasn't feeling it I worked out every day that I was in Maui and I did like 12, 3, 30 and then I also did 10k steps and every other day that I was there I did Daisy Keach workout and I did like two sets of it and I also did planks so I could still engage my core. I didn't want to not do anything, not do any core workouts. So I felt like that was kind of good and it was really subtle. Her workouts are like not that hard. Like, yeah, it's hard in the moment, but it's only 10 minutes. So it's like nothing. So I did like two sets of those every time I did that. I feel like that was really good. I didn't do any arm workouts or anything. So I do feel like kind of like weak in my arms a little bit. I will get back to agree tomorrow and my 10K steps. I think I'm going to do 10K steps as well today. Let me show you guys what I got in Maui because it wasn't a lot of things, but just like food and stuff. I don't really have like designer stuff just because there's not really like a lot of designer stores on the island. They do have like two shops. Like one is like a lower end that only has like Louis Vuitton. The other one has like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Saint Laurent, uh, Tiffany's, Rolex, I think. But it wasn't like huge. Like I would have gotten like Chanel slingbacks or something and they just like don't have a Chanel there. I was actually looking for more of like a department store because I was looking for my Shantakai BB cushion. I actually get that every single year that I go to Hawaii and there's no like huge like Neiman Marcus or Saks or anything on Maui Island. So there was like nothing for me to really look at. I would have looked at like dresses or I don't know tops or something or like niche brands that are in Saks but I also wanted to look at some perfumes and there was just nothing. There's nothing like that's like all like Ala Moana and along like the strip in Honolulu. So not much I can do there. Very limited and I didn't look for like a perfume store or anything just because I wasn't going to go to that extreme. And then I also went to Lululemon to go look at some colors. So uh, let me give you guys a haul. I am actually such like a beverage girl. Like I love like drinking a lot of different beverages at once, which is like, I don't know, might seem weird. I have like my matcha and then I like something for like wellness. So I would usually have a smoothie, but I don't have strawberries. And in my smoothie, I like putting like the hyaluronic acid and also sea moss, collagen, all that great stuff. But I'm going to have half of this juice. This is beet juice, which I actually really like. So I picked up a few things from like ABC. I picked up the Hawaiian Host. This is in dark chocolate. I also have it in milk chocolate and I got these with, like to give away and I, I really like them. But I tried finding like the best sweets in like this particular item, like the macadamia, the chocolate the macadamia nuts. But I feel like this was like probably the more pricey one, but I was looking to see if there's just like a better, like, I don't know, quality of chocolate or something like that, or like a more expensive one. But this one seemed to be like the best one. I don't know exactly how much it was. You guys are Hawaiian or like you guys live there. And there's like a better brand that I could 
could get like a more expensive one that's better quality or something like that let me know i mean i think this is fine like i do like this brand just like i, I feel like the ingredients are obviously not it's just like chocolate like i don't know what else to say like those are the ingredients and stuff but i got these two because i'm gonna like add them to something else i did find this in the airport i didn't find it at abc i don't know why but i got two boxes i kept one i got alfio which is like the owner of medeo i got him a box of honolulu cookies i don't know if he likes sweets much like they own bianca so obviously it's like a sweets shop i also got him a bag of coffee i think this is a really good gift for like anyone that's older like, for your grandfather just because it's really nice to like try coffee from around the world and i think this is a really great way to do that and kona coffee is like one of the best kona coffee is also really pricey with like nespresso it's a little bit more like on the pricey side compared to like other coffee pods that they have i think it's like 20 dollars per pod box i really like it and i think it's really good i used to do kind of coffee with like my nespresso machine so i got that for alfio and then also i'll give him like a box of the dark chocolate and then for my favorite bartender i got her this little this little box it just comes with like a few of them and then i'm also going to give her a box of chocolate i think like maybe the milk chocolate and then for the rest of the staff i just got them this just so they can like try it these are like individually wrapped so it's not like a whole box or anything so they can just like pick whichever one they want so i got them this box and then i also got myself the a box of food. actually i might give her this one and then um i'll keep the smaller one yeah but this one just has the same thing it's just more so that's what they look like i also got a bag of these honey roasted macadamia nuts i actually might give judy one she's like my bartender and I, I think she'll like these so like i think this is good to like add to hers and then i'll keep a bag but these are so good they are like honey roasted so like honey roasted peanuts but like macadamia nuts really high in calorie actually and they're like really sweet it's a lot of sugar i like to have just like a few at a time i also picked up some guava butter this is really good for yogurts i also really like guava jelly i regret not getting guava jelly i just like wish that i would have like picked up a jar and I don't know, I could have used it for like pastries, like made like the portos, like guava and like cream cheese pastry. I feel like that's actually pretty easy to make. I got the brand Tutu's Pantry. There were a lot of things that were like Maui based, like they also had like Maui coffee, um, but they had things like honey in a jar and like passion fruit, like syrup, passion fruit, jelly and stuff like that. But I just, there's just some things that like I knew I wouldn't use, so I didn't get. I also picked up this Ube coconut pancake mix. This looked so good. This is like so random and I don't really eat pancakes, but I just wanted to try this. I also got this Island Vintage Coffee Hawaiian sea salt and caramel sauce. This is really random. Yeah, I don't even know why I got this. I was just like, oh, it looks good. And a lot of people use like caramel sea salt like in their coffee. So if I get back into coffee, like hot coffee in the winter time, then I can like throw this in there. That's pretty much it for like the snacks. Nowhere to like really shop there. And then for Lululemon, I got three sets. This is actually very similar. This is oil blue and this is iron blue. You can see, very similar. So I don't know if I should exchange this one for something else, but I got the same set. This is the Align 25 inch and then also the Y bra in Nulu. Like literally they look almost the same. So I don't want people to think like I'm wearing the same set another day. It's different. It's a different color though, but they are very similar. The tiniest tint. I got the top in a size six, which I think is a good size for me. And then Lululemon just released Garnet for Autumn again. So this is the Align 25. I think I need to move on to the Wonder line because I was saying how like my bum is not like compact in my pants and I think it's because of the aligns. So I think I need something that's like more compressed. So it's not as like movable. So I think I'm gonna move on to, to the Wonderline, even though I like I don't really like how like tight it is. I think it'll just be like better overall. But this one is in garnet. This is 25 inch. And then I also got this one with the energy bra. I have this one in size six. Last but not least, I got the Align again. And this is actually in 28, which I have to get hemmed. I have like my legacy green also in a size 28, which I have to get hemmed. They're just like a little too long, but it's not like I can't wear them. It's just like kind of annoying because then like the bottom will get like pilling pretty fast because it's like rubbing against like socks or shoes and whatnot. And I just like the look of the 25 better, but they only had this in the 28. I just like didn't want to go to like another location. They only had like two on the island. So it wasn't like that much to choose from. And then I also got the Define jacket to go with it. I was going to get the Align tank, but they actually didn't have it. So I'm going to have to get that online. It's literally like the jumpsuit is like literally the same thing 
but I don't know, it's just different, like having the separates. I feel like I like that better. I got the cropped define, I love this one. I can wear it with my Uggs. So I just got three sets, nothing crazy. And tax was only 4%, so it was like really good and like it felt like I was getting a discount. That's everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little haul from Maui. There's just like nothing to really do aside from like be by the pool and like relax. I really love like all the food that I ate. It was kind of like the same as here, like Duo Steakhouse and Spago and also Mama's Fish House. I kind of like only ate once a day just because I wasn't like super hungry every day, which is like weird. I think it was just a time difference. I had like an acai bowl here and there, but I don't really like the places like there, like for acai bowls, I like it better on Oahu because I just feel like they have like more variety. I also went to like the North Shore in Maui and I didn't go to like the Black Sand Beach. So like I would like to go again and do that. Like they're just things that I, I obviously like just relaxed on this trip. But like next time I would like to like explore and like go out and like explore the island. I don't know, it was like kind of like weird, but I did work out every day that I was there. So I was like really happy about that. And I like, definitely overpacked, but it's better to overpack than underpack in my opinion. And I also had plenty of space to bring stuff back. I just got out of the shower and I did my skincare routine. It's actually pretty simple right now because my face is burning. I think I got sunburned from being in Maui, so I'm kind of like trying to be cautious about that. Or maybe it's my tretinoin because I used it like two days in a row. Yeah, my face is like on fire. I got a few new products from Osea. This is their Hyaluronic C Serum, so I have been using this for my face, which I actually love. This product is super hydrating and my skin feels like instantly plump, but I used it today. I also got like a body cleanser that they sent over and another body oil and also this serum. I've never used a body serum before. I still use the discoloration serum for like the places where I have dark spots and then also this one for my bum, which I love. But before I put on the body oil and this body butter, so I use these two together. Before I do that, I actually put the serum on now and it feels really nice and it just feels extra, extra hydrating. My skin doesn't get cracked or creepy. Like sometimes if I wake up and I'm putting on clothes to go to the green, my skin will be a little bit dry. And that's just because I'm not putting enough of body moisturizer, but like, using the serum has been super helpful. So I really like this. I'll have a link down below to all of the Osea products. I did purchase a few of them on my own and then they did send me some stuff. These are the good molecules items that I love and still I'm using. So nothing really changed in my body routine. I kind of just do the same thing. I just wanted to give you guys an update because I feel like these things kind of change pretty often depending on the season, but I did get in a few new products. So I just wanted to kind of throw that in and show you guys really quickly. I went ahead and took my hair out of the towel, like the hair towel. It's by the brand Aqua. So I think they sell it on Sephora. I'm gonna use this Lola V. This is a heat protectant and also leave-in conditioner. I bought this when I was in the East Coast and I actually just like never finished it. So I don't wanna like waste 
waste it, so I'm just gonna use that right now, actually. But I also use my case to leave in hair conditioner. That one smells so good. This one doesn't really smell like anything. I just comb it with the Kish comb, and this is one of my favorite combs ever. I actually repurchased this because Jazzy lost it. She just texted me today that she found it. But I love it, it's super gentle on my hair, and I feel like I've had less hair fallout since I've started using it. Even if I don't put condition in my hair, it's still really nice and gentle. And then I'm gonna go in with Gisu's hair oil. I really do like this cup, probably more than Orbe and more than Kerastops for sure. I feel like my hair has been a lot less frizzy, and when I wake up, it's still a little frizzy, but just like significantly less than it was before. So I made my breakfast. I really just did not feel like talking this morning. Not that I was like in a bad mood or anything, but it's just like, I don't know, I'm not really like a huge morning person. I'm super excited for tomorrow because it's the farmer's market. I really had to refrain from getting like fruits from, <laughs> from Whole Foods. I went there today right after my walk, and I want, I really wanted strawberries, but I'm gonna just get them from the market. My hair is pretty much dry from the roots, and I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil on it. I don't really have to like blow out the bottoms just because it's already pretty healthy, at least like right after I shower. I trim it all the time, like probably three times a year, I would say. Sometimes I do like an even mini, maybe half an inch or like a little less than that just for funsies, like if I'm in the mood. I don't know, I feel like cutting my hair after I end things with a guy just like makes me feel so good. <laughs> so weird. I feel like every guy I talk to, they're like my split ends. So then I just end up like cutting it and I just feel brand new again. Like instead of doing a big chop, I just do it little by little because sometimes there's a few of them. Ever since I did that, that's when I noticed my hair started growing even more. I just had to deal with it. And honestly, like the shortest my hair was, so I would say like above, yeah, I would say it was like up here maybe probably here like up here or something like that that was actually earlier this year i want to say like february like when i moved but my hair has grown a lot it was actually even longer recently but i just cut off like two inches it grows pretty fast because i feel like it's just the things that i eat just being healthy like collagen and everything i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup now so let's go to my room and i don't just want like a fresh face of like makeup like just what I'm feeling right now. So let's go, actually, let's go make a matcha first. I had one before my workout, but I want another one. So let's go do that. Let's go ahead and make a matcha. I also just got Rocky's matcha. I don't know if I like it more than Sayaka, to be honest. I think I like Sayaka more. I actually, I'm gonna place an order on Iporo. Just because like it's, I don't know, Sayaka is just my favorite. It's so good. I really love Uman, but Uman is just a little too strong sometimes. I feel like I don't want like that much of a robust like flavor, like kick of matcha. <laughs> so early in the morning. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. I left it in the bag. The tin is a little big and I don't know that I want to dump the whole thing in there just because of like travel purposes. The maple syrup that I use is Shady Maple Farms. This is the very dark one. It has a super strong taste. I love this one just because you don't need a whole lot. I think you need like a lot less than what I recommend. So I like doing 10 grams for this. I think the serving size is like 30, 20 grams of sweetener. When I was in Maui, they had like a huge like tin container of it. I was like, one I open, one I open girl because I will snatch that. Obviously not actually, but I was shocked, like it was humongous. Okay, this is my last watch of the day because it's already like three. I'm gonna try this again because I need to like thoroughly taste this. It tastes a little bit grassy to me, the Rockies matcha. Like it's good, but I'm obviously not a matcha connoisseur, but I don't think like I love this matcha. Like I think it's good and I'll get it again. Like if I got it at a coffee shop, like I would go back to the coffee shop is what I'm saying. I don't know that I would personally choose this one for my everyday matcha. I think I like Sayaka a bit better and also Uman. Obviously like nothing tops Uman, so like I probably shouldn't even say that. It's okay, like I obviously have to try more matchas, like there are so many more matchas like out there on the market. I'm kind of just basing this on like what I can get my hands on and what I think is like a good price for matcha. This was 125 I think, so like a Lululemon legging that's gonna last me for years and years and years, as opposed to like a tin of matcha that lasts me a month. Maybe, if that. I think I go through maybe 80 grams a month. So that's pretty accurate. I would say like 100 gram tin is good for a month. I don't think I'm stocked up for like the rest of the year. So that's why I said like I need to pick up Sayaka and the 100 gram bag. It's good, but it's not like the one that I would reach for every day. So that's all. 
outfit i just wanted to show you guys my closet really quick because i'm actually so proud of the way that i organized it for starters if you guys are new here hi i'm jenny i'm a virgo so this is naturally what i do in my free time so i have my topsy here and it's all organized to like what makes sense to me first i have like spaghetti strap whites and then tank tops ish and then shirts and that's kind of like how it makes sense to me and then long sleeves and then i have like my maroons here and then a little bit of brown black spaghetti straps tanks halters and then black tanks black tops black long sleeves and then these are like mainly my collared shirts it also ends with white because of the collared shirts i don't know it just makes sense to me like to do it that way instead of having it like end in black here white with blue is just throwing me off so i figured it would just be good in like its own little section these are all of my dresses actually i might switch up the white and just put the white with the white but like i don't like how the collared shirts look like in between tops whatever okay so then i have my dresses i have a few that i still have to get altered and fixed i just like haven't gone to downtown la so i'm just kind of like i don't know maybe i should find a place here and just like swallow the price it's so expensive i already know it's gonna be so much so anyway the organization here i feel like my zimmerman dress has really helped break this up and like organize it even further so here i have like my whites my creams and then this obviously has like some blue detailing so then i kind of just threw blue right behind it and then it goes into purple i love my zimmerman dresses because they have like purple detailing so i wear them to my pan can events and it looks like so cute this is purple and then this also has purple in it so then you go into like your yellows and then i have like this golden this is a zimmerman like silk silk dress that i've never worn and then I, it goes into like this golden color with like orange on it and then red i love this i love this is like so perfect to me like the way that this is organized looks so good to me this is kind of random i just have like my burberry trench because that was like in the dry cleaners and it's almost i think it's like trench season pretty much and then here i have my lululemon jackets because i reach for these every single morning depending on what color i'm wearing of the day obviously but like these get reached for every single day so it's really worth it for me to buy these and to have them i just like love wearing them so much i don't really have like a method for my ralph lauren knits so they're kind of just up here and then i also have like my celine cardigan my celine vest i don't know if i ever showed that to you guys i have a bunch of still here jeans but i don't fit into them because they're a size 26 and the original 26 does not fit me but the low waisted 26 does which is like so stupid for my jackets and my coats i don't have an organizational method for it i just kind of have like tweed and like veronica beard and sandro there and then these are Burberry and just like random ones. This is my fishing jacket for this boat and stuff. Lululemon scubas. I actually have one more that I need to hang up. And then these are like all of my Montclair. Not too many. And then my Lululemon, of course. This is my puffer. My black puffer. Such a classic. And then up here, I threw my shorts on this side because it just made sense to like be with my pants. It was kind of weird having it like all the way on the other side of the closet. So like my pants are not organized by any means at the moment just because like I need to get a bunch of them tailored and like cinched at the waist here i just like try to do it by color so these are like more earthy kind of tones my blues this is a sandro short that i got recently but i got the wrong size so definitely trying to lose weight for that just some like shorts and then a lot of like golf and tennis skirts mixed in but like in the color section they're supposed to be at so that is the situation for that and then i have my heated pads up there for luna when winter comes she loves sleeping on those i definitely have to say that this is my favorite section of my closet so i just have it open at all times it's just so colorful and makes me so happy so let's go ahead and do my makeup when i was in hawaii i actually had to slap on my makeup like layers like i did like two or three layers like for dinner i would do three i think or like during the day one of those i just felt like one layer was not enough and it really is not especially if you are doing photos and if you want to make like tiktoks and everything like it's just not enough and i didn't feel like i had makeup on my face all the time it was just probably around my eyes because you're like squinting the sun is so strong over there i definitely feel like it's a lot stronger than in la of course which is why like my face burns and it's still burning <laughs> i was definitely heavy-handed every time i would finish my makeup and i would think that was that before i said it i would just go on and put more because i just knew that that was not enough it just does not show and because the sun is so bright i feel like it's similar to like being in front of a camera it kind of washes out your face when i got back from maui i think i actually felt worse than when i left because i felt super sluggish and just like so lazy honestly like i just did not want to do anything and i was just not in the mood to do anything basically i didn't do the green 
Lagree for six days, so I left on a Sunday. So I didn't do Lagree like Sunday all the way up until, yeah, Thursday, because I did it yesterday, so yesterday was Friday. That was my first day doing Lagree, and I actually did it after work because I booked Lagree for Thursday and Friday, but I, for like morning classes, but I didn't go, so I had to pay, which was so annoying because <laughs> I just like knew I could have gotten up and like checked in whatever and like just walked close enough to like be checked in I was just too lazy to even do that I was pretty bummed about it but whatever I just thought like I would be able to get up and like be in the mood to go and like get back into it but I don't know for some reason I just did not feel okay like I was I was even supposed to go to the jail and I did not feel okay and I didn't go to that Christmas party I mean, Christmas <laughs> I didn't go to that Halloween party and I felt so horrible because I'm always like Oh, I don't get invited to stuff, I don't get invited to stuff, and then like I just don't go. I did do my steps though, like I don't know why I was motivated enough to do that. I think because I wanted to close my rings still, but I just didn't want to do a class where like someone's just yelling at me the whole time. That is partially the reason. Other than that, I think the class that I took on Friday was actually pretty good. It was with a new instructor. Honestly, like I wasn't too excited about it because I, you know, I feel some type of way about like going to new instructors. She was actually really good. I really liked her routine and that was nice, but I don't think she teaches at our studio like often i think she teaches in like west hollywood or like studio city i'm really happy i got that done but even then just like getting my steps in i think that was like really important to me for like just my mental health going out and like getting fresh air because before there were days where i would just like stay in my apartment all day especially living in the high rise because i had so much sunlight come in i didn't really feel like depressed or anything like i was still really happy but i just would not leave my apartment at all sometimes which is really bad when i was on holiday i was using my chantecaille but it's obviously a little too light so i'm gonna use my chanel not not that this is any darker but i just like the formulation of this one this just gives me like the most gorgeous like glow ever it's so pretty every time i use this foundation i'm just like wow it's so it's so good i'm still on hinge that was the only dating app that i really downloaded I'm not really active on it i like go on maybe like once every two or three days like just to check but nothing too crazy i mainly like x out everyone there's just like not anyone that i'm like really interested in that i've seen or like a profile that i've seen and i think it's kind of different because if you saw these people in the bars or you ran into them let's say like the grocery store or something i think that they would be conventionally attractive right like to a certain degree when you see their pro i think this is a saving grace actually i think when you see them on the apps it just kind of is icky like not that they themselves are like that but just some of the things that they write or some of the things that they say and i know i'm unapproachable i feel like i have a resting bitch face like all the time i know i don't look friendly so but i'm like pretty but i'm not i don't look friendly which are two completely different things i would say if i saw these people like in a grocery store or something like i'm not saying that like oh i wouldn't think that they were attractive but seeing them on the apps is just like oh some of the things that they say are just like so out of pocket or like if they have a dog i'm automatically like unmatching or like not matching at all <laughs> what else if they just use like super Super, like cheesy or like corny lines like i'm like no or if they say you have to be outdoorsy you have to like want to hike like i know i'm not that person so i'm not even gonna front i just like don't match with them like there are things that are on their profile that are just like i'm just like oh thank you for telling me because i really would not have guessed that but now that you mentioned it thanks pretty much accepted that like i probably won't have a boyfriend for a while and I even considered like freezing my eggs. I know this is such a deep topic, but I'm kind of just talking about it casually. I did some research and I wanted to like dip into my savings to kind of like do this. I have a pretty good amount of savings, I would say. I have actually been thinking about this, I don't know, for a while, I guess. I think I was probably on a plane ride to New York. <laughs> I was like contemplating, you know, like just like in deep thought. I was just kind of like, hmm, this is probably something that I should look into and like really do because I'm getting older. Every time I get my period, I just like think about it. I'm just like, oh my God, like I'm losing another egg. Like I'm losing another one. I'm losing another one. And it's just like daunting. Like, I don't know. I feel like super anxious every time. And my period has been pretty consistent these days. Like when I first got on to Nexplanon, it actually wasn't. And there would be some months where I would get it once a month and then it would skip like a month or two and then i would get it again so next one on in the beginning is like really frustrating and you have to have tampons on you at all times tampons or pads whatever you use i started doing a little bit of research not like in my mid-30s or anything so i don't think i have a ton to worry about but i've seen a lot of girls that are actually like in their early 30s and they're already doing it and i'm just kind of like should i be doing that too like i just don't know if that's the process that i want to go through and i think it's like super important to obviously talk to a fertility doctor about this i don't see myself being in a 
relationship like anytime soon especially because i want to fully and completely like get over virgo and like this whole situation because like i was already over it and then like we reconnected again and i think like obviously everything happens for a reason i'm not going to sit here and say like oh my god i wish like that never happened or i wish like this and that or whatever which i actually have said i think it's just because i'm upset in the moment but i think that everything happens for a reason and obviously like it just like wasn't meant to be i'm not like super mad about it like i'm obviously still sad it's been like a little over a week because i saw him like on wednesday last week and we just like went to dinner like we just like talked it out or whatever like i honestly don't even know what we talked about i kind of blacked out like i don't know it wasn't worth it though i'll tell you that i can see myself aging like i looked at my older videos and i like started crying like i was so sad having some kombucha this is the holiday one which i actually really like and it's from the brand health aid that's the only kombucha that i like because i've tried other ones and i just not a huge fan and then i also have my kiwi and apples that i sliced up this morning that you guys saw i just like having fruit readily available because I'm, i get lazy to cut it and everything and these are not from the farmer's market so i just wanted to get rid of it and then get some fresh produce tomorrow at the market i'm trying to finish it i actually bought this sweater i think it's cashmere cashmere and wool I'm gonna make something for dinner. I don't know what. I kind of just want like mac and cheese. I'm exhausted. Like I'm so tired because I was crying so much. I'm gonna go to bed pretty early because my best friend from kindergarten, Judy, she's coming tomorrow. So uh, she wants to like see my place and everything and I haven't seen her in quite some time. Actually, like since, since I left for New York and we were trying to get together like a few times after and like it just like didn't work out. So like when I was visiting because she was at work, but I was like with my mom and stuff and like helping my mom with stuff. So we're going to try to like figure out like what to do tomorrow. I feel like I used to have a sweater like this. Did I like throw it out? Probably when I threw out all my stuff. I'm crazy. Like when I go through like a binging purge, I just like throw everything in my house.